update this is gonna be my first actual length video um this is well that right there is Mrs. Asuna and this is her 10 gallon setup um today I just added in these plants right there that plant that plant yesterday I added in that that and then that nest right there I know this is a lot but she was just not living a healthy life the way they had her um, at the pet store. So yeah, I got the lights off so you can get a really good look at the tank. Um, how do you guys think it looks so far? I want to go naturally live planted sooner than later. And I'm going to get rid of all this fake gravel and get sand and then nitrate soil underneath it. And do it a proper way. This is it currently. She's in here alone. Besides, there's a common placosimus that I'm going to be rehoming sooner than later. <coughs> Sorry about that. But, um. Yeah, I'm going to be rehoming that common placosimus soon. And I'm going to get some bristle noses, probably two of them, and put them in here. And then I want to get a group of like five or eight, or like seven or eight neon tetras. It might be a little overstocked, but I'll just do heavy maintenance on it. Um, I don't know how often I'm going to upload, but this is my introduction video. She's saying hello. Yeah, I know it's dark. Can't really get a good view. But I have the lighting like that intentionally for her I just got her yesterday she's a short finned female as far as I know I am nowhere near a beta expert I came to that conclusion on my own alrighty I'm gonna turn on my light quickly Here's a better look at the tank. It is a 10 gallon. I've got a, um, it's an aqua tech. Five to 15 is the filter. It's a little strong. That's why I have that big fern like plant right in front of it. Um, I haven't gotten her to eat yet. I think it's just because she's still new to the tank, and it doesn't help that I keep. Uh, it doesn't help that I, I've done major renovations to the tank within the last two days. But good news is it's all kind of fresh. This tank is less than 24 hours old, and I know um, I'm gonna get criticism for that. I I really hoping for the best. Um, I got the parameters set. I you know I put a pH tabs in there. I put a pH tab in there. Um, I did the beta um, tank stuff to get it ready. And I let that flow for like an hour, a couple hours before I put her in there. And it's set to 79 degrees. That's what the heater's on for her. I mean,. She seems to be a happy fish. She's not laying down and just staying still. Right. So, I'm Dante. Um, that was my introduction to my tank. And this is my introduction to you guys of myself. So, um, it's nice to meet you. And I'm excited to go on this journey. And, um... I want criticism. I know my tank's not perfect right now, but um, I'm going to give the best life for Asuna, and um, I want to get more betas. I want to get a new stand to where I can have at least two 10 gallons, or maybe four or five gallons, get two males and two females, and maybe eventually try to do breeding, but then I'd have to get a bunch of tanks to hold the young babies. But um, it was nice. 
meeting you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. And um, got anything to say to them, Asuna? Want to say see you later? Ah, uh, such a beautiful fish. Well, camera won't let me do that. Alrighty, guys. This is Hydra, uh, not Hydra, sorry. This is Asuna and Dante saying thank you for stopping by and see you next time.